Okay folks, it's been a real cracker of a sunny day in more ways than one. I have been able to shed my winter woolies when it started to warm up. So there I am in my, in what would be classified as summer outfit. So that's it there folks. Uh, it's been, it's still a bit cool in the shade, but it's going to be a nuisance when I go out early in the morning when it gets really cold and then having to strip off, but I didn't catch any buses today so I just stayed in my local area getting my laundry done so yeah okay let's just rip in and get some shit happening good shit folks not bad sh not shit in the normal sense in the bad sense of the word Just touch that. I'm going to leave it there. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here. I think this is a chopstick uh, wrapper from a sushi shop. Yeah, sushi su t what izu whatever sushi sushi izu. Just wondering which side I think would look better. Maybe this side. Sushi Aizu, or whatever it says, folks. I don't eat sushi very often. I don't normally eat out because I'm not rich. I haven't got that kind of money to splash around. So I just have my usual stuff at home, as most people would anyway. Most average people... Well, a lot of people do eat out. You know, we got restaurants everywhere here in in um, Camaray and Neutral Bay and all around there, North Shore. Uh, pity I just can't afford, and I'll end up getting fat anyway if I eat stuff that's loaded with calories and fat and shit. So yeah, both low on cash and my body's low on tolerance of fatty stuff, I just gain weight like fuckery. Yeah, that's come up looking uh, really nice. That does look nice. Uh, I do wonder if that's going to be the centre of the job for this. Uh, but yeah, oh, sushi's low in calories, I guess. It's not full of fat, uh, typically, unless it's got tempura or, you know, or some... Yeah, I think that's what they call it, tempura. That's the Japanese word for, I think, deep fried or something like that, tempura. So it's not temp normally tempura. And I, yeah. I think that's how you pronounce it, tempura. I could be wrong. I'm not good at pronouncing foreign words. I even struggle to pronounce um, Australian words, like street names, like we've got a street in neutral bay called yo street and basically i th i thought it was it's spelt y e o y e o and i thought it was ye yo you pronounced it ye o street ye yo but it's not ye yo it's yo like as in y o yo you know like you're calling out yo or yo you're calling out yo not ye yo so it's like I just have trouble working how to pronounce things like that. So yeah. Or Wickham Road, I pronounce it what I used to pronounce it Y Combi because of the way it's spelled. I can't remember how to spell it clearly. W Y C O M B I E or or B E or something, and I thought it was Y Combi, like Combi Van, Y Combi, uh, Wick Wickham Road, Wick Wickham Road, not Wick Y Combi. So yeah, I have, I have problems with street names and shit like that. Even the GPS can say it better than I do, and I think the GPS is sometimes that's where I think I got some of the correct spellings from, correct pronunciations was from the um. 
from somebody's GPS. So there you have it. I'm, it looks like the GPS has got more fucking smarts than I have in some ways. Fuck, that's a worry. <laughs> Enough of that. Let's just see how we go with this. We just bumped it, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, that's come up looking uh, quite a treat. I think we can now call this demo quits.